In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a ROS2 component and load it at runtime. Note that this is only available for C++ as for now. If you want to do the composition with Python, you will have to use what's called a manual composition. Okay, here what we do is called composition at runtime. And I'm going to start with a very simple node with almost no code. So I have created a package, so a C++ package. And in this package, I have a CPP file. Okay, so nothing fancy for now. In this, I just have a class. I have just named it a motor controller node for the example. Okay, that inherits from uh, the node class. Then I have a constructor with just one log, so not much. And then I have a main. So usually you would create a main where you initialize uh, ROS2 communication, you create the node, you make the node spin, etc. But now what we want to do is actually not to have a main and create an executable. We just want to kind of create a library, so kind of a plugin that we will load at runtime. Okay, so let's do that step by step. Let's adapt this node to be a component. First thing, I'm going to remove the main. Okay, we don't need a main anymore. So we just have the class for the node and that's it. Then what's usually a good practice is if you don't have a namespace, so here we just have the class, but it's not inside a namespace. If you don't have a namespace, probably better to add a namespace, okay? Because most of the components already use a namespace, it's gonna be easier for you to organize the different components in your application. So let's create a namespace here. So namespace, uh, let's call it my namespace. So usually what, uh, would be done is to use the same name as the package here, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm just gonna use my namespace for now. So open here and close at the end. And usually when you close the namespace, you add a comment to say namespace, uh, my namespace. So you don't forget about it and you don't remove it by mistake. Okay, so for now we haven't changed anything. We just have a namespace. What we will need to do now so this is quite special. This is not something you do usually, but we will add an include at the end of the file. Include rclcpp components slash register node macro dot hpp. If you don't find this, so if it doesn't work, make sure that you install the rclcpp components package, but it should be installed for you already. Okay, I'm gonna save here because on VS Code with C++, you need to save so that it can be found. Okay, and then I can use RCLCPP components register node like this. And I can put the name of the node. So here is gonna be my namespace and then motor controller node. Also one common good practice is not to put the node inside the uh, component name, okay? Uh, you will see later, we will see the different names for all the already installed components. Most of them, they don't contain node. So it's probably better to also, if you have the node name here, just remove the node name here. Okay, and it becomes motor controller. All right, so with this, it's gonna register the component. Okay, so this is a very specific syntax you need to add at the end of your C++ file here. And then one more thing is that because this is gonna become a component, we need to add one uh, parameter here in the constructor because this is going to receive const rclcpp node options. So it's going to be actually a const reference to node options. So we just need to pass this. And here, when we call the uh, a node constructor here with the name of the node, we also pass the options just like that. So you just need to adapt this part of the code Okay, but that's pretty much it. So to recap here, as a best practice, add the namespace and remove the name node from the class. Okay, it's not mandatory, but it's the best practice. Then you have to do this include and this macro here to register the node, so to register the component and add also the node, so a const reference to node options in the constructor if you don't have this already. And then the file is ready, so we don't need to touch anything else here. Next step is to configure in the cmakelist.txt and also in package.xml. So because we use rclcpp components in package.xml, I'm also going to add a depend here, rclcpp components like that. 
I already added the RCLCPP before, okay? So now I have the RCLCPP component. That's it for package.xml. Now let's go to the simaclist.txt. And well, I have my minimum simaclist here. I have find package with RCLCPP. I'm also gonna add find package with RCLCPP components and required, just like that. And then how to build this component? Well, we will need to do add library like this and then give a name uh, for the library. So this name is not so important. I'm just gonna name it motor controller component. This is just for the build uh, system. You're not gonna use that afterwards, okay? So I just use a different name to show you here. And then as we would do for a normal node, we will just provide the files. So here is just one file, components test.cpp. After this, we need to do aimant target dependencies with so motor controller component. What do we need? We need RCLCPP and we need RCLCPP components. So make sure you add all the dependencies that you need for this node. Okay, and then, well, we don't have any add executable, okay, because we are using add library. Then we are going to do the install. So this is gonna build, but then we need to install the components. So it's gonna be targets. And then uh, let's put the name motor controller component. Okay, so that's the library we have created here. And here you will need to write archive destination lib and then library, so all uppercase destination lib as well. And then runtime destination and this time is gonna be bin. Okay, so you just need to write this exactly. And then if you add more uh, components, you just add those two lines again with add library and target dependencies and you add the next components right here. Okay, so that's how you build a component. Make sure you add all the dependencies, then add library with the source file here, and then you install them. Also, well, actually one thing I forgot here, very important, you're gonna need to add RCLCPP components register nodes like this. So make sure you use the exact uh, syntax with S here and S here. And you're gonna put the so motor controller components. And then in quotes, you're gonna need to put the name that you have defined in the file here. So that's actually the name that you register right here, okay? So what I do usually, I just don't try to make any mistakes. So I'm just gonna copy this exactly and put it in the quotes right here. Okay, so this is the name you're gonna actually really use in your application. This motor controller component is just for the build system. You're not gonna really use it, but this is what you're gonna use. And well, one more thing, a very important thing that you might forget here as well is when you do add library, you need to put the shared keyword here uppercase, okay? All right, so there's a lot of details here, so make sure you add all of those details, and then that should work. So let's go to the terminal, let's build this, call con build, Okay, so that correctly worked. I'm gonna just source the workspace. And then what I can do, there is this ROS2 components keyword and I can do ROS2 component types. And this is gonna show you all components that are actually set up in your environment. So everything you have installed. So here, for example, I have installed the navigation to stack. So I have a lot of nav2 stuff. Uh, I have the demo node CPP and if I go up, I should see my components tutorial, okay? So this is the package, and this is the component inside, okay? As you can see, so for other packages, we have, uh, sometimes we have one or several components. Okay, so here you can see most of them are using a namespace, and most of them also, they don't have the node name afterwards. Some of them they have, like this one, uh, like that one, but most of them, they got rid of the node name. So now that you have this, so if you do ROS2 component types and you can see your component, it means it's been correctly built. If you don't see your components, then you need to go back to the previous steps and make sure that everything is fine. Now to complete this, well, we're gonna 
run this component. So how do we run this component? We don't have a we don't have a main. We don't have an executable. So we actually need to start what's called a component container. So we can do rust run, and there is this package rclcpp component and then component container. Okay, so we can run the component container executable. All right, so it's, it's just running. And then uh, if I do rust to node list, you can see I have a component manager here. In this, what we can do is we can just load several components. So all the components that you have listed previously, you can run them here. How to run them? You do ROS2, so in a different terminal, you do ROS2 component load, and then you need to give the node name of the component container. Okay, so here it's gonna be slash component manager. After this, you give the package where the component is. So here it's gonna be in components tutorial, components tutorial, and then the name of the component, which is my namespace motor controller. So my namespace motor controller. Let's press enter and let's see what happens. All right, so you can see it correctly worked. So on this terminal, you can see we have loaded the component, okay, as a motor controller. So that's gonna be a node, but the node is gonna run inside this component container. Here we load the library, we instantiate the class, etc., etc., and you can see the hello here, the hello that's from the constructor. So you can see that it's correctly working. Okay, now I can do ROS2 uh, components. If I do tab twice, I can do list. And you can see inside this component manager, we have motor controller, which is going to be the component number one. If I want to unload, I can do ROS2 component unload, and then the name, so component manager, and the ID of the component, uh, which here is going to be one. Okay. And you can see unloaded component. So we don't have any log here, but then if I do component list, you can see the node is gone. And then you can load it again, unload it again. You can load several components with different names, etc., etc. All right, and that's the end of this tutorial on components. Now, if you want the full explanation about how executors work and also a full step-by-step -step guide on components with Python and C++, also to see the manual composition, the composition at runtime, etc., then I have the perfect course for you. You can check out the link in the description. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.